Hi everyone, it's Michelle here from The Hub and welcome to this year's Book Week Scotland event which uh, for the first time will be an online event. So this year we have teamed up with David McBeal who's a Scottish children's author and has visited The Hub many times before. Uh, David has produced three videos about three of his pieces of work and you can watch these videos separately online via our YouTube channel and when you do and once you have finished watching one or all three you can send questions to David via our website there's a question form which you can fill in and David will then answer all these questions and produce another video where he will answer the questions which will then be shown on the 20th of November which is actually our assigned date for the Book Week Scotland because as you know the Book Week Scotland will be running from the 16th to the 20th of November this year. David's first video is all about Thorfinn the Nicest Viking. It is actually a series of seven books and they are very funny, highly entertaining and uh, quite supportive if you are into Vikings or uh, if you're doing the Vikings as a project at school at the moment. Um, so they are very suitable for ages sort of P1, P2 up to P4 and um, we really recommend them. They're very funny. We will select a winner from all the people who have sent in questions uh, at random through a raffle and you can win lots of prizes. Um, the first prize will be an annual membership to our multilingual lending library and uh, David has kindly donated some books which you can also win and there's a few smaller prizes that we will then send out via post um, to the winners. Hello there, uh, my name is David McPhail and I'm an author and I'm here today at the Language Hub to talk to you about Book Week. Uh, it's Book Week again, a bit different this year um, for reasons that we all understand. Um, although it may be in future that this is the way things are going to go, I don't know. Um, it's quite good actually, uh, the whole virtual thing, I quite enjoy it. It's not quite the same as having people there. But what we're going to do is, we're going to, I'm going to do a quick uh, session just now uh, and talk to you a little bit and then you guys are going to come up with some questions and then I'm going to come back and answer them a bit later on, okay? Uh, so yeah, um, I'm David McPhail, I write books. Uh, that's what I do for a living. Um, some of the books I write about are behind me. Uh, I've got this, uh, these books here. Uh, this is uh, Thorfinn the Nicest Viking. Uh, and then I've got another book series called Top Secret Grandad. I've got another book series coming out next year, which I might tell you about later. But anyway, Thorfinn. Uh, it's, uh, the Thorfinn books are about Vikings. So uh, do you know anything about Vikings? Uh, maybe if you've done them at school or anything like that? Uh, well, one thing I can tell you is that Vikings, when they want to cheer or celebrate, they shout very, very loudly. Like this. Huzzah! So, um, I don't know if you can do that. Um, maybe I can hear you or something. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay, right. Well, that's pretty impressive, I have to say. Um, so, I write books, and it's called, the books are called Thorfinn the Nicest Viking. There are quite a lot of books. There are about eight books in the Thorfinn series. And um, the... In the, in the books, the Vikings in the books, they're all really mean and barbarous and uh, they've got huge beards and they shout a lot Rah! and uh, they're mean and ooh, all these things and smelly as well, they're very smelly. Um, but, but Thorfinn is the exact opposite. Thorfinn is nice, he's polite um, and the whole book series is about Thorfinn and how he gets on with these ferocious barbarians, the Vikings. Uh, the latest book in the uh, Thorfinn series is called Thorfinn and the Putrid Potion. It came out last year right at the beginning of lockdown so I didn't even get out to speak to any schools or anything like that about it but I did manage to um, 
go online and speak to a few and uh, I'm doing that now of course so what I'm going to do to you is I'm going to read to you from the brand new Thorfinn adventure Thorfinn and the Putrid Potion <clears throat> and start from the beginning at chapter one one brisk autumn day the villagers of Indigar trudged home from the fields their foreheads glistened with sweat their muscles ached they were licking their lips thinking about all the meaty goodies they were going to eat because the harvest was finally in and it was time for feasting. And there was nothing the Vikings loved more than a huge slap-up feast. Carrying their pitchforks and scythes over their shoulders, led by Eric the Earmasher, a ferocious one-eyed bear of a man, they tramped into the village square, only they did not find a Viking feast waiting for them, but a tea party. Yeah, a tea party. The whole marketplace was draped with bunting and the tables were covered with crisp white tablecloths. There were fancy place settings, tiered cake stands and platters of teeny tiny finger sandwiches plus great mounds with of scones with cream and jam and in the middle of each table a steaming pot of pine cone tea complete with a little frilly tea cosy a small freckle-faced boy was humming and whistling as he laid out the plates <laughs> while a speckled pigeon danced along the table behind him pecking up some stray crumbs the vikings gaped in horror <sighs> Thorfinn barked Eric the Earmasher. The boy turned, a gentle smile on his face, and doffed his helmet. Good afternoon, my dear friends, and what a lovely... Cork it, Thorfinn! boomed Eric. Where is our food? Food! The crowd groaned, sounding like a band of cranky old cave trolls. Thorfinn gestured towards the tables. Here it is, my friends. Feast away. Eric jabbed his thick, sausagey forefinger at the dainty bits of bread. What do you call these minuscule things? Sandwiches, Thorfinn replied cheerily. You can have smoked crab and lettuce or salmon and cucumber. Lettuce? cried Eric. Vikings don't eat lettuce! No! roared the crowd. Lettuce is for the rabbits! yelled one man. Yeah! another cut in. It's too... Uh... <coughs> What's the phrase I'm looking for? He screwed up his face in concentration. Thorfinn's eyes lit up. Oh, oh, I love this game. Do you mean high in nutrients, rich in vitamins? Non-meaty, suggested someone else. Yeah, that's it, it's too non-meaty, yelled the man. We Vikings, we hate non-meaty vegetables. Eric glowered at Thorfinn. We don't want your pathetic sandwiches and your wimpy little scones. We want meat. He smashed his fist down on the table. The plates... The cutlery, the cake stands and the scones jumped about three feet in the air, landing in a disorganised clatter. The crowd bellowed in approval. Wah! Thorfinn and his pet pigeon, Percy, stared at the mess in mild confusion. Oops. Don't worry. I shall reset the table in no time at all. Thorfinn was the village chief's son, which was, quite frankly, the only thing that stopped the crowd from burying him up to his neck in one of the fields and pelting him with rotten cabbages. It didn't matter that he'd saved the village many times over. What mattered was that he was nice and polite, which were definitely not good Viking qualities. Eric scowled at a small flame-haired girl wearing a helmet that was far too big for her who was lounging on a bench, stuffing her face with scones. This was Thorfinn's best friend and anger management coach, Velda. Her job was to try and make Thorfinn less polite and more angry, like a real Viking. But she was failing miserably. Her favourite hobby was throwing axes, preferably at her enemies, but she wasn't picky. You, barked Eric, you're supposed to make sure he doesn't do stuff like this. 
Velda gulped down a mouthful of scorn and belched. I told him! I always tell him, but he never listens! Eric glared at a thin, wiry old man who was lying across the bench opposite Velda, fast asleep. This was the village wise man, Oswald. And you, you old fart! Eric kicked the bench. Oswald rolled off and fell face down in a muddy puddle. The old man didn't even stir. Indeed, he continued to snore, blowing bubbles in the murky water. But before Eric could wake him, an eerie silence suddenly fell over the marketplace. A dark shadow appeared, bearing down on the villagers. Though bearing is probably not the right word, it was more like chickening. Because staring down at them was the face of a massive, goggly-eyed chicken. That, my friends, was chapter one of Thorfinn and the Putrid Potion, which is the very first uh, of Thorfinn's adventures. Um, the very, sorry, the eighth, a big pardon. <laughs> the eighth of Thorfinn's adventures. Uh, I get confused myself sometimes. Sorry, the first was actually this one here. Thorfinn and the Awful Invasion. When I first had the idea for Thorfinn about this nice Viking um, and these really ferocious people that he was living amongst and he'd been brought up amongst, it was just this one book. I, I just had the idea for this one book and it's suddenly, suddenly given rise to an entire series of books, which is fantastic. I think the reason why I've managed to get eight books from this idea is because uh, the, when you write stories, and you might find this when you write stories yourself at home or at school, um, the, the main the main ingredient of your stories, the most important one, for me anyway, is um, is characters. Your characters are the most important things. And in, in these books here, in the Thorfinn books, you've got Thorfinn, who's this character, and you've got the other Vikings, who are these characters. And the story is all about how this character and these characters go... They crash together and sparks come off and um, and it's such a big uh, difference between Thorfinn, who's really nice and polite, and these barbarian Vikings. When they smash together, there's all these sparks that come off it. And, you know, I'm still coming up with ideas for Thorfinn books. I've got ideas for more and it's all based on this basic idea of the two things clashing together and all the sparks flying from it so what happens if that if Thorfinn's trying to do this or the 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 other Vikings are trying to do that oh and things come off and spark and fly in different directions so that's why I've had so many ideas and there have been so many books so uh, this book here as I say was the first one and this was all about Thorfinn getting his Viking name Thorfinn the very very nice indeed um, the great thing at, at the back of this book, one of the great things uh, about this book is at the very back there's a Viking name generator that you can get this online if you type in Thorfinn the nicest Viking name generator so you can get it, uh, your parents or your teacher can get it at school, you can just look it up on the internet or it's on the website for the publisher which is uh, Floris, Floris Books but you can get your own Viking name uh, here you just need your first name the first letter of your first name, and then the month you were born, and then the date of the month that you were born, and it gives you a Viking name. Um, I've got one here. I've actually printed mine in here. Um, uh, my Viking name is Dagfin the Skullhammerer. So I gave myself a particularly tough sounding one because, well, I wrote it, so why not? I've also put my address down here, by the way, in case you fancy sending me any, you know, uh, Christmas presents, for example, or birthday presents or anything like that. My birthday's all down here. So, yeah, um, <clears throat> that's the great thing about that book, the, the Viking Name Generator. You'll find it's quite fun if you have a go. Um, and the, uh, the, the book that came out 
uh, the year before, uh, 20, what year is it? What year is it? 2020, okay, the, the book that came out last year was Thorfinn and the Dreadful Dragon, so it's got a dragon in it. So we thought we'd try and do something different from this book. Uh, uh, so we've got, uh, you can get your dragon name in this one, it's got a dragon name generator. So all you need for that is your first name and the month you were born and where you were born. So again, I've given myself a pretty cruel uh, dragon name, which is David the Granny Griller of Greenock. So what's your deadly dragon name? You can get it online if you just type it in. Or you can get it in the book if you've got the book. Thorfinn and the Dreadful Dragon. So in the, the new one, the one I've just been reading to you, uh, we had we thought we'd do something different again. So in this one, one of the characters is called Piebald. It's Oswald, the village wise man's brother, and he makes potions. So that's what the whole story's about. And you can make your own potion in this one. So you need your last name and the day of the month you were born and the month you were born. And so that means you can get your own potion name. And I've got one, uh, of course, of course, because um, I was born on the 22nd of May, so my potion is MacPhail's Pump, which gives you musical farts. So uh, that's another one to try. So these things are all very, very, they're all great fun to write. And, uh, you know, I hope, hopefully they're great fun for you to, to look at and play around with and show your friends. Um, so <clears throat> what's going to happen now is... You guys are going to come up with some questions. If you have any questions about Vikings, because um, I do write, I, I write history books about Vikings as well. I'm really interested in Vikings. I really am. I love Vikings. Um, so if you've got any questions about the book series or any questions about writing, let me know. There is a prize. There are prizes I put forward as part of this. Uh, you can win this. Or you can win a copy of Top Secret Granddad and Me, Death by Soup. Um, so I'm going to put these prizes in to the competition. So prizes, maybe for the best questions, we'll see. Uh, not picked by me, somebody else will pick them, don't worry. <coughs> so uh, that's something to remember. So uh, go away and come up with your questions. Maybe look at some of my other videos, because I'm going to be doing a few. And uh, thank you very much for listening. Bye bye for now.